On this episode of Motorcycle Heavyweights, where we give flowers to the motorcycle legends, we talk about David Mann of Easy Rider Magazine, a one percenter, the Da Vinci of this culture, and we break it down on this episode of Demons Row TV. And no, oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we give flowers on this motorcycle heavyweights edition to David Mann. Everybody knows his paintings. He is, without question, the Da Vinci of MC culture. Some I think he might be my favorite artist. I don't know. Let me know in the comments who your favorite artist of all time is. Undoubtedly, the number one guy when it comes to art in this culture, in MC culture. So much so that some of his paintings actually manifested new styles of motorcycles that people ride to this day. He actually had paintings that existed before the bike existed and people mimicked his art and actually made bikes after the art that he created so we're going to get into that we have some clips he also was a one percenter we're going to get into that aspect of his life too because people don't talk about that much they mostly talk about the easy riders magazine and that type of stuff but we're going to get into everything but the first thing i want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound spin. And that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Row community. One of my ghosts. Shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification. Hit the like button. Shout to everybody getting the motorcycle heavyweight t-shirts. We also got the snapbacks dad hats and the bandanas so if you want to support the show get those now but let's talk about it david mann so david mann was born in kansas city september 10th 1940 and it's crazy because he died september 11th 2004 that's my mother's birthday and of course the 9 11 attacks but it's so crazy that he was born and died around the same time as september that's that's kind of deep David was actually a one percenter. He was a member of the El Forestero MC. He was one of the first recruits of Tom Fugel. So he is an integral part of the culture. He actually lived the lifestyle and the paintings that he depicted were of situations of himself with his brothers that he really lived the lifestyle. A native of Kansas City, Missouri, man began drawing and painting at an early age. His first passion was custom cars and his first job was an automobile painter. After high school, he left Kansas City and settled in California where he became interested in motorcycles. He became immersed in the biker culture and motorcycles supplanted cars and pinup girls in his artwork. In 1963, Mann brought some of his artwork to Kansas City Custom Car Show where biker slash artist Tom Fugel took interest in his artwork and with Mann's permission showed a photo of the painting Hollywood Run to Ed Big Daddy Roth, an artist and custom car painter who was then the publisher of one of the first custom motorcycle magazines, Choppers. Roth loved the painting and commissioned 10 original posters were made available in the back pages of Easy Riders for many years. 
1965, man joined Fugle's El Foresto Motorcycle Club, an actual 1% club that wore a diamond, becoming one of the founding members of the Kansas City Charter. In 1971, he answered an advertisement for a motorcycle artists in the back of a new motorcycle magazine called Easy Riders. After 1972, his artwork began appearing regularly in the magazine and man's relationship with Easy Riders would continue for the rest of his life. His art was reproduced as the magazine's center spread beginning in 1973 and continued to be the publication's centerpiece until he was forced to retire in 2003 due to his failing health. A collection of man's work was published in 1993 and updated in 2004. In 2004, man was inducted into the Motorcycle Hall of Fame by artist Billy Lane. Man died a year after his 64th birthday. Just before his death, a custom motorcycle was commissioned in his honor from Orange County Choppers to be featured in the episode of the reality show. The David Mann bike featured custom artwork in Mann's style, but Mann died before it was completed. The vehicle served as a posthumous tribute to the artist and his work is featured on the show. The episode was dedicated to Mann as well as Indian Larry who died a month earlier. His ashes were to be interred in the gas tank of a Harley Sportster painted in his trademark. David Mann read, Mann is survived by his wife and three children. The David Mann Chopper Fest is a custom motorcycle show themed after Mann's style and attitude. It has been held annually in Ventura, California since 2004. So how amazing is it that someone that was born in 1940 is still to this day affecting people and I think that that's what life is all about. Even I have a version of the Poseidon, I have it tattooed and um, I got rid of the girl that's on the back because on his famous painting of course he has the mermaid on the back sitting on the back of the bike well i changed mine and i just added instead of the like pitchfork style i added a diamond on top of the the spear so yeah even now to this day someone that was born in 1940 is affecting people of the culture today like to me that's what legendary status is about leaving your mark that's what it's all about what do you leave what kind of legacy do you leave behind and i saw on an episode of porn stars they had this man that had david mann signed paintings and he got about 3500 each for them and you know it was on the show and everything and some of his paintings have gone for way more and you know the more i talk about this i actually want to acquire one now too check out this clip real quick from an interview david mann himself talking about one of his paintings i thought it was really funny he was talking about an ex-girlfriend of his he drew a painting of her washing his bike while he's talking to like another hot chick i thought that was really cool check this clip i had a girlfriend that had long hair and uh she dumped me so I decided I'd do a centerfold, put my bike in a bike show, and uh, have her clean my bike, and I'd be up to talking to the uh, to the beauty queen. When I finished the centerfold, I showed it to her, and she really got pissed. David Mann's paintings will always be synonymous with MC culture. Rest in peace, David Mann. You are a motorcycle heavyweight. So let me know in the comments someone you think should be featured next i have one that's shot already but i'm actually going to his block party so i'm not going to name drop everyone that is influential in this culture we will give flowers to so get your demons road t-shirts bandanas snapbacks and dad hats and thank you for tuning in to demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby